right, beautiful people. So we're going to be doing you guys something fantastic tonight. So sit back and enjoy it. We're gonna be doing another episode. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Far away over there. Big up yourself. 100%. We're back in the kitchen tonight with another recipe where something different upon the menu tonight to show you guys. All right. So, yeah, man. Please like up the video and tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right. Let me just get some pineapple peel. Telling her all the time I don't throw away my pineapple. I always um, save it for rainy day. All right, Scott, pick up yourself. So now it's rainy day time now. So. So, got a big ball just to make sure everything is up and running properly because you know, and they are, I make it summer. Big up yourself, I chef. I make your lime, turmeric, ginger tea today. It was so good. I know because what Chef Ricardo has made, it is coming from the heart. And if you make it, it's going to be good. So, what we want to do is thank Jesus Christ for the beautiful blessing where he's tore upon us that we can be able to do things at home. All right, let's go into it. So what you need to do, get some pineapple peel from your freezer. Put them into water like this. We're going to use up these. a lot of things mixed up together but it's still better than you was drinking certain things at home remember to get yourself a copy of the book Esther Delicious speak of yourself thank you so much for coming on the show we appreciate the love 100% so guys open up your eyes and write down the ingredients all right just to let you know that tonight no rain not falling only the breeze blowing so yeah. All right. So we got pineapple peel. Keep ears is in. Big up yourself, my brother. You need to reach out to Chef Ricardo and remember, what's the best recipe for your book? What's the best recipe in your book? All right. Okay, guys. Let me let me go now. Like introduction about the book. The book is a biography about Chef Ricardo because you don't know nothing about me. Okay, you don't know nothing about me, but behind the book, I just put a few recipes inside of it. All right, okay, now I have a next book coming out 150 pages. It ticked like this. I don't know how you guys are gonna go through it. All of these tea, juice, and recipe where you see I've been making it will be in the book. This one is for you to buy. And support me that means I can get to publish my new book which is coming out very soon all right we are working on it we're going to release the cover soon and you guys are going to see 150 pages what more can chef Ricardo do for you all right so this book is for you to read and understand it and then when you read this one then they're gonna say yes now I understand why chef Ricardo is doing all of these beautiful things for my beautiful people good vibes all right the mo you know what let me tell you something now i love every one of you guys who are supporting 
all right so yeah i love you thank you so much for the support for being an amazing and you know i mean god has been blessed you and god has been blessing me and god has been providing for me and god has been providing for you also and your family so let's go straight in it i know people will be saying chef you your chat too much but you know what if God be for you, who can be against you? Nobody upon earth, my beautiful people. In summer, if God be for you, who under this hurt? Which man upon earth create this world? No man. Nobody can be against you. So, the one thing we have to say, it doesn't matter what people want to say. Because they are not God. Because you know what? They are not loving at them heart. When you have love in your heart, you don't say certain things. You understand? When you have when you have love in your heart, how can you say certain things? No, 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 no. That's red flag. Straight red flag. When you have love, you don't think negative, you think positive. The devil will put things in your mind and in your heart, but what you want to do? You do not make it override it. Do not. So that's why I thank God for where I am. Because sometimes, yes, I'm not going to say, I may talk a little bit longer because my audience is coming on and I want to say things. But some people will come in, they chat too much on this. It doesn't have nothing to do with me because I got love in my heart. And if God is for me, who can be against me? Nobody on earth. It doesn't matter who you are. You could have even come from on and it hurt or come from space where Elon Musk is. You're not still God. So, bless up all of the people who love God, believe in God, put their trust in God, and never lean on your own understanding. No matter what happens, you have to put God first, guys, because God is the only way. Not your kids, not your child, not your wife, not your husband, not your friend, not your girlfriend, not your boyfriend, not your sister, not your, even your mother. Who birthed you? Put God first. Let's go into this. All right? That's the introduction for Chef Ricardo today. All right, let's go and make a nice, lovely cup of tea. Let's make a cup of tea, guys. Let's make a cup of tea. All right? We don't have to say anything else. Let's make a cup of tea. I am now going to say, I don't mind tech criticism. I don't care. But, you know what I mean? I use it and I say, thank God for what you guys want to say. And, I, you know what I mean? But I deal with love. I like this when people deal with love. And that's what made me happy. Love. You know? When I see love, it's one of the greatest things for me. When people are happy and they got love into them. Sometimes everything is not going to be nice. Sometimes things are going to be sour. But at the same time, do not overthrow that sourness. Sometimes you go to work, work not going nice. Sometimes you go home, your wife, the kids, the pitney. But what you want to do, do not make it override you. It for you, it override you. Let's do something. Go get some fresh breeze and be happy you know what i mean good vibes all right all right let's get some water into this cup Large cups of water, all right? Yeah, man. One large cups of water. Beautiful people. Yes. 
100%. Let's get this red onion. We're gonna be using a small one, not a large one. Very tiny one. So we're gonna cut up this. Red onion into some small pieces. All right, this is it right here. Beautiful people, put it into the water. Okay, yeah man, good vibes. All right, then what we're going to do next, we're going to um, get some pineapple and we're going to put some pineapple straight into it just like this also so if you got some leftover pineapple peel don't throw it away guys that's you know what i mean save up the pineapple peel and use it just like that in the kitchen we're gonna put some more pineapple peel. I'm just going to be using up all of this beautiful pineapple peel right here. All right. Just like this. Look at that. That is excellent from the pineapple. So as I say, if you have pineapple peel in your freezer, don't throw them away. Uh, these are what I have saved over, guys. All right. Remember, all the time when you see, I go to the shop and I buy these things. Yeah, man, I save them, and I use save them for rainy day. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, let's cut up these nicely into the water. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get some fresh ginger. All right, because I see the ginger, I'm going to make it different. Uh, so, yeah, so, all right, so once you... I'm just gonna simply just remove off the skin from the ginger right here and you know make it come in a little bit more different. Alright. Excellent. Look at that. Fresh ginger. Alright. Gonna put a few slices of lemon inside of it, just like that. Boil it up and make it, you know what I mean? Ground milk. Thank you so much, I chef. Thank you so much, every one of you guys who are taking the time and support Chef Ricardo cooking. All right, Chef Ricardo. Yeah, man. Jobless, awesome job. Thank you so much. Sonia, Sonia, big up yourself. Further check in. Good afternoon, chef. Big up yourself also. Yeah, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about right there. A simple little recipe from Chef Ricardo today. All right. Yeah man, here it is, here it is, beautiful and nice. It's got a few ingredients inside of it, different, different kind of ingredients. But we are making a cup of tea, you understand? You might have said, why I'm losing so many ingredients in one little cup of tea? 
It's just like if you go to the doctor and the doctor give you an antibiotic, it makes about 50 different items. But you still take it. Or if you go, say you go to a birthday party. And when you go to the birthday party, you will take up chicken, oxtail, rice, pasta, coleslaw, and then you're going to go to the dessert part. Now you're going to take up um, ginger cake, custard, and then you're going to take up a um, piece of sweet potato pudding, and then you're going to take a nice, lovely glass of probably um, fruit punch or some rum punch or something, you know? But everything going to go one place, but you don't have a problem with that. But that'll be a cholesterol diabetic, diabetes, everything I climb up on you one time. But this right here, so you see this, this is going to help you with your cholesterol. All right, inflammation in your body right here. This cup of tea right here. The result from it is greater than you expect. Going to happen if you drink this for five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You don't even have to drink it for five days. You drink it for a few days. You know what I mean? Make a big pot of it, put cool it down, and put it in the fridge. All right? So, this is ginger, key lime, pineapple, and some purple onion inside of it. Boil it. I want to boil it. Strain it off. Put a little bit of honey inside of it. And you're good to go, guys. Very effective little drink where you can make at home. Some simple little things. I like to use simple things, guys, because when I use complicated things, my, some of my audience cannot get it. And I don't like to use those kind of things. Because they're going to say, Chef Record, I cannot get this, I can't get that. I like to use things where your guys can get it in the supermarket. As you're going to the supermarket, it's in front of you like my book. You know what I mean? Get yourself a copy of the book, From Poverty to Purpose. Read about this biography about Chef Ricardo. All right? Yeah, man. And look out for the new book coming out. 150 pages. It's going to be amazing. All right? Beautiful people. All right. Summer, what's going on now? Call it. <laughs> and reason. All right. Yes. You know what I mean? All right. It's coming up to Easter, and a lot of people know that so Easter is a time of year where everybody bake, you know what I mean, do some fried fish and some fried bami. Alright, I'm going to really buy some bami, and I'm going to show you how you can soak your bami into milk and fry it at home. Alright, so let me see what's going on. It says vitamin A, 20% of iron, 4% to 20%. So, okay. Got a few things in it, you know, no sugar in it, zero gram sugar, 11%, all right, not too bad, I'm going to show you how to do the bami, all right, yeah man, fantastic chef, yeah, Sharon, what's going on, big up yourself over there, whatever you want, all right, thank you so much for coming on the show, all right, and support the progress of Chef Ricardo cooking. All right. Now, yes, beautiful people. So, it takes a little bit of time to boil. And, you know what I mean? We will get into it as, as it goes on. As you can see, that's how Chef Ricardo do it. I like to share you from start to finish. Did you know, guys, this right here, you can just get it and put it into water and drink. It is very good for your cholesterol level. Purple onion. And if you're a man, you can drink this before you go to your bed. It works very effective for your immune system. All right. Look at that, guys. Beautiful and nice remedy for Chef Ricardo tonight to you. Cool vibes. Yeah, man. We've got the key lime in it. works very good for you for, you know what I mean, kidney stone and all them things there. It's good, guys, to look after the immune system. You know? Special 
if you go out in the day and you eat that certain kind. Like today I was in London, you know, and I was eating some crap food today and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to eat because I'm telling the honest truth, sometimes I'm afraid and I go out to eat. But true, in the morning I drink cayenne pepper and all them things that I keep for the whole day. And I just said, sure, I want to eat something. All right. Yes. So, tomorrow is Saturday. What kind of tea, guys, you want me to make? You know, I got the merengue tea. I got merengue. Here it is. I bring some merengue from the Philippines. It's very, very good, guys. And I need to make some merengue tea for you guys. So, look forward for that one. All right. Merengue is good if you guys got merengue at home please use it when you use it and you go back to your doctor your doctor will send ask you the question what are you doing at home to yourself you know exactly what to say you just tell it that your financial record any but if you had medication please speak to him first if you had medication Speak to your doctor. All right. Kingfire, long time in a scene. What's going on? Big up yourself, man. Long time in a scene. Can you make um, a tea from curly for the lungs? Definitely, man. We got lungs tea. I got a whole heap of tea like that on my YouTube channel. How to cleanse the lungs. If you're a person who smoke, we got a recipe for you. I have the recipe coming out. I just need to get one more ingredients. But I was looking for some fresh one and I couldn't get it. But I'm going to be doing a, a long stay probably tomorrow night. I'm going to try and get the ingredients. One more ingredients I need. So if you're a person who are suffering from the lungs, are you smoke, are you <coughs> coughing and all these things, you need to do at least 10 push-ups every day or 5 push-ups in the morning. And then we're going to give you a long stay. Because when you push up, it's good for you guys. It loose up your, the whole body. And keep the blood flowing good. Every day I do a, a, a few push up. You know, I'm not gonna be say I do 50 or 60. I do a few to keep the body moving. You know what I mean? 10 push up in the morning if you're a man. If you're a lady, lift up some weights at home. All right? Keep yourself healthy and strong and fit. You know what I mean? Good vibes. Yeah, man, we can make you a nice long t shirt for you. Clean up the lungs. We have it. All right? I will give you a new brand one. So subscribe to the YouTube channel and probably do, give me a super sticker, man. Let me can go and, and buy some more ingredients class. Guess on electric rays. Right. That's why you see it takes so long for boy and have to turn on the cooker because <laughs> electric is expensive. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a good vibes. But it's looking good. Try this at home, guys. Very, very good for cleaning up the body. Look at the color of the, the purple one in there. All right, let me show you something when you don't understand. Let me give you know, read this because I have it somewhere with me right here. About um, the Benny. No, no. You said white onion. I didn't want it to say white onion consider different fiber with acid in no, red onion. I want the red one. Because I eat, I'm using. Let's put red. Here it is. All right. I find it. So let's share this with my audience because I want you guys. Why go on, young man? Everything is good and everything is blessed. Can't complain this evening. Read that for me, beautiful people. Read this if you're not busy. All right. Let's take a look and read after that. That is from Chef Ricardo coming right there from you. All right. Let's look at the pineapple, how good pineapple is. Pineapple peel. That's where we want to go. Our pineapple peel. All right. Pineapple peels. All right. Just like a fruits, the skin of the pineapple is rich in vitamin C. Come on, people. You must not understand what Chef Ricardo is talking about. All right. So let's give one of this where you guys can read it. 
And now, so as a belief is good to you yeah, for real. Did you know that the pineapple peel fight against bacterial? No one. No. All you need is a cup, a shot of. All right. A good vibes. Thank you so much for that one. No. No, man. You need something. One thing now going to work. Now. One shot of thing can work. Because when you go to the doctor, and the doctor gives you an antibiotic. Yes, that, that antibiotic can make up about 15 different items. Thank you so much for that one. We can make up and buy some, some of the next bush tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, you see, vitamin, you see um, the pineapple peel, guys. Fight against bacteria. All right. You see, even with the same, um, with the same, with the same um, lungs, you can just get some pineapple peel. All right. And boil it off and drink it also. Chef Andre, what's going on, man? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Long time in a see you. <laughs> Big up yourself anyway. Beautiful people. So, the pineapple peel is powerful, guys. And a lot of people underestimate the pineapple peel, but they don't know how powerful it is. And I've been talking about pineapple peel for years. And how it's good for you. The skin of the pineapple is powerful. Alright, so I want you guys to read that little bit of information where I give you on the pineapple and the purple onion and why it's so good. Here it is. See that? Look at that. Alright. Yeah, man. That is hot enough. Don't burn up yourself, Chef Ricardo. Because, you know, Look at that, guys. Beautiful. So let's turn off the cooker. So this is pineapple peel. This is key lime. This is ginger. And this is some purple onion. All of this mixed together. You can also boil it in a large pot and strain it off and put it in your fridge and drink it one cup in the morning. And, you know? Keep the body flowing, see how we are. Good vibes. You see? Because through the electric, 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 you know, I have to kind of turn it on a little bit. So you can't cook on wood fire in England. You will get locked up. <laughs> you never call the fire truck by you. So something is burning around here. <laughs> All right. This is how I look, guys. You know, looking good, to be honest with you. Looking really good. Sometimes I put the ingredients them in my community. Yeah, man. Sometimes I put it in the community. Yeah. King Fire. Wow, go on, man. Um. Big up yourself. Okay, all right, all right. King Fire is in the building. Big up yourself every time. Now, let's take a pour off on this. Remember, guys, to get yourself a copy of the brand new book. Don't miss the price. You know, price is on as a big 50% price is off at the moment. So, yeah, man, don't miss all the sale. Chef Andre, I'm going to give you a shout you know, because I need to talk to you because you're not going good at all, man. All right, beautiful people. So, let's pour out it. Here it is.
Yeah, when I make this kind of cup of tea and you go to the doctor, the doctor send it back home straight away. They don't want to see you. And they're going to say to you, you know, exactly what you're doing at home. And there's some ginger. And yeah. A few pieces of key lime inside of it. Nice. All right. Keep it running, guys. You need to cool on a little bit. I would, I would suggest to you and put a little bit of this nice honey inside of it. All right? Yeah, man. Just to give for the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Here it is. Put a little bit of honey inside of it. Honey is good for the gut. Yeah. You know? When you drink this, and you go to the doctor, the doctor send it back straight to him. He said, you know exactly what you are doing. You know, and then the doctor look for me, and he said to me, what I'm doing at home. <laughs> that's, the, that's the last time when I go to the doctor, and asked me, like, a few years ago, what are you doing at home? I tell him, I said, boy, I try my best to look after myself. And he said, wow. And I was giving him some tips and ideas and some of my tips to give with the, with the patient then. You know what I mean? It's uh, a good vibes. All right. So, good, af good Friday Eve. <laughs> good Friday evening, Chef Ricardo. I'm blessing up yourself. Thank you so much for the great job you're doing. I really appreciate it, Simit. Big up yourself over there for come on the show. And let everyone know exactly what's going on in the kitchen. Appreciate it 100%. Um... I see the next message down at the bottom because Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much, Auntie. And if you have my Auntie, big up yourself everywhere you are at the moment. If you're there in London, big up yourself. If you're there in Jamaica, big up yourself. If you're there, wherever you are, big up yourself. So, my message to you this evening, whatever you are doing, don't give up. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. Don't make nothing stop you. All right? As I said before in the beginning, if God be for you, nobody can be against you. All right? So keep pushing. Keep what you're doing. And the most important thing, big up my friend of our the other way in um, Canada. You know what I mean? Big up the Canada crew supporting Chef Ricardo Rice straight through. You know, we have a big audience in Canada. You know? And if somebody wants to send me a ticket, I'm going to look for visit Canada. Can't afford it right now. Expensive. All right? Anyway, a good vibes. I'd love to visit Canada. <laughs> Lala says she wanna send me a ticket to the US, but I know you know see come. <laughs> anyway, people, a good vibes. Thank you so much again for that 99. Yeah, man. Next time when you had super chat, you send me a ticket. I'm gonna love to visit Canada. You know? yeah. Come in Canada City, come cook some food and thing. That will be a good one. <laughs> that will be great. And a weekend. Simit, big up yourself. Definitely. And the weekend. Now, let me tell you something. Don't drink this on the weekend. It's red flag. This kind of drink. You know why? Weekend. You see, weekend. Weekend, a lot of people like to eat a nice, lovely meal. Sometimes I lick out on the meal. But I know people like rice and peas, chicken, and then vegetable. That is tradition if you are from Jamaica. When I was growing up and I was growing up with my grandparents, you would never catch my grandmother making certain things on week on the weekend. Weekend, yeah, I get rice and peas, fried chicken, and yeah, I get coleslaw or potato salad, and you will set the table and you have to eat that. Because what you get, you're gonna have to eat. So what you wanna do now, you start this like from Monday, not even Sunday. When you touch Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And that's because a lot of people like to leave over the leftover from Monday to Sunday, which is rice. And that's too much rice, not good. But a lot of people like their nice, lovely dinner on the weekend. Like them rice and peas and them curry goat and the ox steel and, you know what I mean? Bits and pieces. So my advice to any one of you who love these kind of tea, the best time to start it is from a Monday. 
Thank you so much. Have a blessed evening. You say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the weekend come now you want to say, all right, you know what? Let me treat myself. And then you may eat a piece of cake. You may eat something. You understand? And then you start back with something different. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then you start to detox back your body. Because you can't make your body keep it. Just because I'm been doing this tea every day. And because I want people to understand that different people coming on the YouTube channel. It's not you alone. You got different people coming on and go. So I want them to hear the message also. There some of them come and then gone. You don't see them again, but I saw it go. At least they will drink it and they will make it and they will learn something. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend, cook up some oxtail and rice and peas or whatever you want to cook. Because it's tradition. There's no way you're going to stop that. Your band come see your grandmother do it. Your band come see your mother. Your father, unless they decide to turn vegetarian. Um, my girlfriend made me meal okay on the week uh, for the weeks. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, man, a good vibes. We like that. We like to hear when the woman, the ladies, them, not the woman, the ladies, beautiful ladies, them looking after their husband and their boyfriend at home. Make sure they're cooking a nice, lovely meal. And when their husband come in or their boyfriend come in, they're doing a good job. Big up all of the ladies them who do that. My respect goes for you. Keep up the good job. And, you know what I mean, keep look after your, your boyfriend or your husband. You know what I mean, or your husband-to-be. And the man, they must play a part. Uh, so sometimes the ladies, them working very hard. You need to come in and do your little bit. Cook some food sometime and treat your woman. Don't leave the one at the work and the woman. And the lady, not woman, the lady. All right? My, sorry about that. Make sure you treat the lady the right and proper way and respect her and love her and treat her the best. Because trust me, if 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 God give man God give man woman for a reason. You understand? So any I don't like for you and the man them disrespect the woman them. The ladies, the beautiful ladies them in this world that God have given us. Respect them and treat them the best as much as you can. Everything now gonna be nice like the cup of tea. Sometime the tea going to be stirred up like this. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to remember she's your comfort. You understand? She is the one who when night come and you know what I mean you feel a certain kind of way, I she your lean pan. You understand? So you have to respect the lady. And you're gonna have to treat her the best if you are she as i said the cup of tea now nah, gonna be nice like this every day sometime the tea gonna mix up and you know what i mean we're gonna have a little bit of um ups and down but that's what caused it to be a strong relationship and for you guys to move forward into the next bigger relationship for 50 years or 60 years because I've been watching on TV and all the time on YouTube and see people live for 60, 70 years. So what about now? You understand? So, we make, make we, you know what I mean, at 2020, 24 now, make we understand that we as the men need to start respect the beautiful ladies what God has given us. Suppose God didn't give us woman, what would I do on earth? <laughs> so we must appreciate the beautiful ladies. And let's take care. As I say, a cup of tea now going to be nice every time. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to try and calm it. The tea. So the tea calm. Look at that. All right, look at this. When you mix up the tea, you know, it's just for like a bit of time. But all of a sudden, it takes a little time and it calm. It's the same thing with you, man. We will calm. And after it calm, don't keep up anything inside of you. Make it go. Let it go. As the song man said, let it go. Let it go. You understand? And then respect. And we move forward again. I saw it go. You know what I mean? Thunder and everything I got roll. The sea gonna get rough. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to work at it and say, you know what? Yeah. I have to give God thanks. Because remember, you know, when you're sick, and she will be there for you. When you sick, when she's sick, you're gonna be there for her. 
Sometimes you want a cup of tea and you sit down in the front room watching TV. And you know, hear your husband or your boyfriend say, Hey, Bibs, can I make a cup of tea or something? So you go. It now going to be nice all the time. But try and make it work. The best option. You understand? Nothing already gone and gone bad and everything. But when you move forward, you're going to have to make the one who move forward work. Don't stir up the, 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 the pepper pot soup all the time. Treat, treat. Because what happened now, when you treat the one you love the best way you can, as much as you can, then bless them. And you know what I mean? The Lord will bless you. The, and don't let too many spikes in for the enemy to come and to stir up the tea. You know what I mean? Sometimes misunderstanding will go on and you're going to have to sit down and talk. If that one now compromise, then you're going to have to work on something to make it work the right and proper way as a man. You understand? Because as a man, you're going to have to stand up and know, say, listen, the lady need to respect you and you need to respect the lady and the guys need to work together. A good vibes. Yeah, man. I encourage men straighten one another labor, guys. And I saw the thing go because Chef Ricardo always talking you know, of and, you know, show you certain little bits and pieces and a blessing. We have to help one another because who going to do it? You can't ask the kids to do it. You look a five or six year, seven year old. No. You know what I mean? We have we as out here we have to help one another and strengthen one another and make we move forward in life and serve God and praise God and go to church. What more do you want? And live a nice life and eat some healthy food and give God thanks for what He has given us. There's there's nothing else on earth people want right now. This is what you need to do. Serve God. Go to church and live a good life and a clean life and give God thanks. For all of the blessing we give you. That's all you need right now. And look after your family and your kids. Or whatever. You're in a circle. I love your friend, your enemy. That's all. Nothing else right now. You could have the most expensive house, car, this, whatever. We don't want nothing else right now more than us. Serve God. Love yourself. Love your family. Love the kids. Love your wife. Love whatever you love. Love your neighbor. Love your family. Love who you your circle, love the sick person, love who around you, and share with us love, 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 love to everyone, and then we will be happy. A good vibes. Anyway, as it come to a close, when the video finish, leave your comments in the description box, and I want to thank you so much for watching this evening, and I will put the ingredients them in my community. If you go to community, I start to put the ingredients them there. It's easy because a lot of people is in the community. So you can go to the community and see the ingredients and guys, amazing. Big up on yourself, beautiful people and stay blessed and we will catch you tomorrow with more recipe and more ideas. Have a beautiful evening. Whatever you do, man, put God first. Chef Andre, big up yourself and Esther Delicious, thank you so much. And the other rest of people who are being a part of the show and the journey, keep the faith. If you're a YouTuber, don't give up. Keep pressing it into your YouTube channel and share the good news. Make others can learn a good vibes. Big up yourself, every one of you guys.